guys welcome back to my channel we are doing another pregnancy update already can you believe it we are 11 weeks already 11 weeks already can't believe it anyway baby is the size of a fig this week i've never had a fig i don't know what they look like so i can't tell you what the size is um i can imagine it would be about that big that big maybe smaller don't know excuse my nails um yeah i i've never had a fig so i just don't know um but that's the size of baby anyway i'm gonna jump right in with symptoms and i'm still feeling nauseous um i'm not physically sick but nausea is staying consistent since it started, it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. I've been taking the Metro Club Pramide. It's a mouthful to say that word. Um, I've been taking that and it does seem to make it better. But if I forget to take one of those pills, I know because it comes flooding back again and I just feel dreadful. I actually forgot to take it last night before I went to bed. <sighs> and I woke up this morning. And Well, actually, I tell a lie. I woke up at about two o'clock this morning feeling dreadful it was just awful um what else the bad taste in my mouth is still there it's it's just really difficult to have a conversation or going out and about having to be in front of people with this awful taste in your mouth and you're trying to talk to them and it's you're kind of pulling funny faces like oh, 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 and you just look ridiculous but it's hard it's hard not to get sick with it but yes, yeah, so I still have that. Um, I've been really, really tired. I have been really, really tired. Um, again, that's something that stayed quite consistent throughout the last few weeks. I've been really, really tired, which is usually for me, and I've mentioned this before, it's usually a sign of having a boy. So I can't wait to find out what it is because I'm just really curious because I'm having lots of symptoms of boys and lots of symptoms of girls so i just can't wait um and yeah another thing that's been happening is my gums have been really sensitive i already have very very sensitive teeth because i have no enamel on my teeth and they, they break very easily which we've talked about before um but my gums all the way around my mouth have been really really sensitive they haven't been bleeding They've just been really sensitive to things like, you know, the, the cold hitting as well, things like that on my teeth. It's just, it's all very, very sensitive. Yeah, one thing I want to talk to you about, and it's no cause for alarm. Um, it's already been checked out and we've sorted it out already. Um, I did have some spotting. Um, at first, of course, any woman that's pregnant sees spotting and they panic so much. And I did, I did, I panicked. And I immediately um, got onto my midwife and she said, you know, if it if it's more than a teaspoon, then we're going to have to go to the hospital and see. But if it's just a little bit and it was literally just a tiny, tiny bit, it was a tiny bit um, and it turned out nothing to be worried about. She asked me if I maybe had a UTI because sometimes UTIs can cause a little bit of spotting. Um, if I'd strained myself, sorry, I've got something in my eye. What the most inconvenient time to get something in my eye. Okay, so I I kind of have like a phantom eyelash or something in there because I can feel it, but I just can't see what it is. Anyway, uh, what were we talking about? Uh, yeah, so the spotting, she thought maybe I had a UTI and that's what it was. And she actually suggested that I put a teaspoon, uh, I think, was it half a teaspoon? Half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda in some water and just drink it and she said that it, it really helps to cure up a uh, cure and clear up a uti so i did that it was absolutely rancid it was disgusting i will not be doing that again um but yeah so i'm hoping that works i have had a lot of backache and feeling a bit grotty um so yeah, I, I don't know. I'm hoping that helps. I haven't had any, touch wood, knocking on wood, um, that I haven't had any more. And we did actually find baby's heartbeat with our at-home Doppler. So baby's fine. It's just kind of 
me. Um, so yeah, that's going on. Oh, that would be my other daughter making herself known. Um, she's realized that I'm not in the room with her anymore. I can't see her though. Okay, so weight gain. Yeah. Um, so I have gained some weight, a lot of weight. I have gained, oh, don't shout at me. I've gained eight pounds since I found out I was pregnant. How? I'm not really sure. I mean, I've been really sick. So the only things that I've been able to stomach have been things that consist of the beige category. Um, a lot of breads and things like that have seemed to be the only thing that kind of stops me from feeling sick. My daughter's making so much noise. Oh, of course she would. Um, she's making a lot of noise because she wants to get out of her playpen. But she's going to have to wait there for a moment. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and keep like a really close eye on my weight gain because I really don't want to be gaining any more that quickly. I've never gained weight that quickly in my pregnancies. So I don't really know what's going on there. Um, cravings, again, with the salty foods. Salty foods like, I don't know. I think the last one we talked about bacon. The bacon was kind of the only taste that I could keep down. Um, yeah, it's just anything sweet, kind of, just, no. So I, it's more savoury, salty foods, but not sweet um okay what about aversions 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 <sighs> this is the most random thing ever we use tesco's lemon scented antibacterial wipes and oh my lord i cannot stand them at the moment my husband keeps getting them out to clean and like to wipe down our surfaces after we've had dinner he'll wipe the dining room table down with them and oh i just can't bear it i cannot bear it yeah so that and anything orange anything orange um this is real life people this is how we do a video baby's crying and two-year-old hanging off of us so yeah anything orange anything lemon anti back wipes um yeah and i think i think that's pretty much it and i don't think i'm actually going to be allowed to do any more on this video because i've got one baby crying and a two-year-old behind me eating cereal yeah so i'm gonna have to go deal with that hi you say hello everybody hello buddy hello everybody um okay so that's all i've got for this week i apologize that i have kids everywhere but that ladies and gentlemen it's real life that is my life i have kids everywhere okay so i will see you everywhere in the next one <laughs> just just gonna keep repeating now um what was i saying why yes i don't know oh my lord right i'm gonna go and sort my kids out and try and i think i'm gonna have to tie this up um and i will see you in the next one for week 12 week 12 and soon enough we'll be having a scan yeah love you all see you in the next one Bye.